Hi, my name is Keith Smith. I'm a freelance PHP programmer, and I've been a freelance PHP programmer since 2006, and I'd like to teach you everything I know. In this video, I'd like to cover how to change a user's home directory to its virtual host doc group. Now, if you've been following me, you, you will know that I'm setting up a development and testing environment locally on a private IP using private domain names. So I do this so I will land in the doc root of the virtual host when using SSH, FileZilla, and or Visual Studio Code. This configuration aids me when I want to edit PHP remotely using Visual Studio Code. The command sudo user mod hyphen d directory path username is used to change the home directory of a user on a Unix like operating system. In this case, I will use this command on Ubuntu 24.04 long term support. Here's a breakdown of the command. Okay, so sudo makes me the super user. User mod is the command, and hyphen D says to specify the new home directory. And then, of course, we need the username. Apache configures a default virtual host as part of the initial installation. This virtual host is incomplete as a virtual host. It does what Apache needs to do, but it's incomplete. So I completed the build out of the default Apache virtual host. As part of the build out, I add a user named default. Now that's a user. Default is the name of the user. It could be my name, Keith. It could be Bill, Bob, Jim, Francis, whatever. Uh, I chose to call the default Apache virtual host default. So I created a name called default and changed its home directory to forward slash var forward slash www forward slash HTML by the following command. Now, var www HTML is the doc root for the default uh, host. So here we go. That's a virtual host. Okay, so I'm going to copy this, and then I'm going to paste it. But before we go that far, let's let's try let's let's do something here real quick. I want to show you around a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to exit out of this. Okay, I'm going to minimize all this stuff so I can get into Putty. There's Putty. It's set up to log in as me. I'm going to log in as default. Okay, let me, let's see what, what directory we were in. Okay, the home directory right now for default is forward home forward slash default. Okay, we want to change that to the doc root. So let me exit out of here. And let me jump back in as Keith, who's a super user or pseudo user. And it's already there. So let's just hit open. Okay. Enter my password. Okay, so this is standard. This is how the home directory sets up when you add a user. So PWD tells me what directory I'm in. I'm Keith, so it's forward slash home, forward slash Keith. That'd be my home directory, okay? So now what we wanna do is we're gonna copy that command I just talked about. Let me go over here and grab it real quick. Okay, let's go back here and paste it. And so it's sudo, become the super user. User mod was the command I just talked about, hyphen D, 
and then forward slash bar forward slash www forward slash html that's where i want to make the default user the, the name of the user is default i know that's a little confusing but i did that because it's the default virtual host that apache sets up so default is a user and forward slash bar forward slash www forward slash html is the root directory or the doc root for that virtual host. So let me hit enter. Okay, it wants my password. Okay, looks like we're done. Let's let's exit out of this and let's go back and see what happened if it made any changes. Okay, I'm gonna log in as default. It's not a default user, it's a username default. Hit enter. It wants the default user's uh, password. Okay, there we go. Let's see what PWD gives us. Okay, see so we changed the home directory to forward slash bar forward slash www forward slash html. Let's do a VDIR. And we see all kinds of uh, PHP files in there. And so that is the uh, home directory or the doc root for the default Apache virtual host. Okay, so let's, let's minimize this and let's go over to FileZilla. Okay, so FileZilla, we're gonna uh, go to the site manager. Uh, we're gonna connect to the default, it wants my password. Okay, say okay, bam. Okay, see it said it, it went right to the home directory of the user default, which is forward slash bar forward slash www forward slash html okay let's get out of here let's uh let's see if we can putty in or ssh in so this is all proving that this stuff is working okay and it assigned it a new uh a directory a home directory uh, okay password Okay, we're in. Okay, so right now, who am I? Okay, it says it's user default. Let's see where we're at. PWD. Enter. Wow, forward slash var, forward slash www, forward slash HTML. And I'm going someplace with this, and it, I want to, I have one more thing to do. And then uh, these users will actually be able to log in via the shell and I'll be able to do rem remote edits on the code. So we've had success, yay! Subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any new content. If you found this content useful, by all means, give it a thumbs up. I'd like to hear your thoughts, so leave a comment and subscribe to my newsletter. Below you will find a link and you'll want to subscribe because there's some information I'm going to let out that probably will not make it in, into the videos. Thank you for watching and have a great day.